welcome to diction addiction indo editorial vocabulary and analysis series today's topic is learning to let go on retro taxes it's published in indo editorial 25th december 2020 moderator dr kp suman for better understanding i have collected few pictures which are uh, pertinent to the today articles the first one is permanent coat arboration which is stationed at hague netherlands second one is kern it's a kern oil and gas company the largest private sec private sector producer of crude oil in india currently it's producing from assets in rajasthan andhra pradesh and gujarat third important uh, player in the today's schedule is income tax department which is uh, trying to levy the tax from the various private companies such as vodafone and kern for their retrospective business before going into the analysis part first we will read the article then followed by analysis the permanent coat arboration at the egg on wednesday ruled in favor of energy firm kern plc over retrospective retrospective tax demand worth of 24500 crores pursued by indian taxman since 2014 it has ruled out that the tax levy pertaining to corporate reorganization exercise undertaken in 2006 and 7 false fall of india uk bilateral investment act the time could have been worse for the government expiry of 3 month deadline to the contest similar retrospective taxes in case lost against vodafone this this september but unlike the telecom case where the government would only need to fork out around 80 crore rupees if it were to concede the defeat this audit include sharp 1.4 billion us dollars payable as a damage to the kern the damage arise from the tax authorities decision to take by force and subsequent to sell the company shares and freeze the dividend payments as well as tax refunds to recover the disputed tax dues even as the arbitration process was underway this outcome as repercussions not in the least for an arbitration plea filed over the tax demand by the kern's parent vedanta whose verdict is awaited second perhaps the physical implication of such a large payout to kern when the ex checker is crash strapped may have galvanized the government's mind about the challenging the vodafone verdict after much dithering ostensibly because it cannot take a different stance on two similar cases the center has now filed, filed an up, appeal in vodafone matter in singapore a similar appeal to can can be expected in kern finance minister nirmala sitaram has repeatedly asserted that india retains the sovereign right to levy taxes the arbitrators do not seem to be disputing that the fact is that this government has accepted from the outset it is not in favor of retrospective legislative changes pm narendra modi had promised to resolve the concerns on retrospective taxation introduced to global consternation in 2012 by then prime uh, finance minister pranam mukherjee after losing a tax battle with the vodafone in supreme court the kern order even refers to the statement by bjp leader like the late arun jetli terming the retrospective amendments as tax, tax terrorism while in the opposition the guilty clauses could have been scrapped in the first nda budget itself but 
bobs about being a suit boot sarkar then that compelled the government to retract land acquisition reforms may have dampened the enthusiasm for investor friendly changes losing the arbitration in the most watched cases under troublesome law that has hurt india's investment credibility provided cathartic opportunity to let go while resting the blame for the mess on upa in doubling down instead the government has scored a self goal its aspiration to rope in global investments must be matched by ensuring policy stability and creating robust regulatory framework yeah before going to the vocabulary i just want to tell you that it's a battle uh, between the uh, um, private companies as it from the foreign and the indian tax man so they are trying to charge the tax from the retrospective business or a reorganization but that seems to be uh, against the india uk bilateral investment pact as well as the india netherlands bilateral investment pact where they say that uh, investors has to promote it uh, so there is no way that you can uh, levy tax on reorganization of the reorganization of the company so that's what the government is facing very difficult to collect the tax from these two forms instead that in the legal battle they are uh, going to pay hefty amounts to the respective companies because because of their uh, because of their in uh, because they can't win the cases this is all about uh, uh, you know and also at the same time i want to tell you that the present government uh, when they are in the opposition they supported the scrapping of retrospective taxation and they want to get the and also they want to get the they want to scrap the these kind of laws especially late arun jetli said that retrospective taxation is a tax terrorism so by 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 virtue of of by virtue of terror, by virtue of the opposition they might have told this one but by, by after coming to the power in 2014 they could have scrapped this laws and could that could have encouraged the lot of private firms to enter into the india for the investment but still there is a lot of time to uh, there is a scope to invoke the existing laws uh, in favor of the companies this is all uh, analysis let us go into the let us go into the vocabulary uh, as i you all know that i want to explain the vocabulary with the uh, relevant pictures so that you will understand the meaning and uses uh, properly at the same time there would be a chance to uh, remember the whatever you learned today so i also emphasize that whatever you are learning please do right that will make you to understand and remember and use very effectively the first word is retrospective spelling r e t r o s p e c t i v e retrospective it's a adjective meaning backdated so if you are looking back or dealing with the past event that's what you say retrospective for example our survey was retrospective second one is arbitration a r b i t r a t i o n arbitration it's a noun a form of alternative dispute dispute resolution in a way resolve disputes outside the court so when the court is not able to resolve the issues not in the sense where the parties are not agreed to resolve them so if you can go to the arbitrator they'll sort out your problem that's what is here arbitrators arbitration similar picture you can see the first picture is arbitration you see three people are sitting one is in a blue color other one is in white color these two people are parties 
and the person is arbitrator arbitrator is trying to resolve the issues pertaining between these two people and third one is tax levy t a x l e a v i tax levy a levy is a legal you know legal seizure of property to sats to satisfy the and outstanding debit so that's what is a tax levy and the foul it's a most common usage word in the uh, you know games like football rugby hockey means offensive it mean it's adject adjective offensive to senses are wicked or immoral that that is called as you see this guy in the picture in the this is a you know basketball the guy who is in the blue shirt is trying to stop the other guy by pulling his hand this process you say foul but in another way in pertain to the article foul in the sense they not respecting the agreement between the countries that you say foul the next one next one is fifth one is the fork out the phrase phrasal verb to pay pay an amount of money especially unwillingly you know for example you are paying something you are not interested that's what you say fork out you see in the other side left side picture says that there are uh, coins in the pork that process is called as a fork out the sixth one is concede it's a verb meaning admit admit or agree that something is true after denying or resisting you all know this very uh, famous one it happened in the american america united states of america where joe biden uh, won the presidential election but uh, but the trump donald trump is not considering his loss or uh, not accepting the victory of joe biden that's why i say that's a you know right now he is accepting that's why initially you do don't want to accept that even though it is fact that you say concede the seventh one is repercussion r e p u r c u s s i o n repercussion means uh, having a bad consequence of some activity you see an intended consequence of events or actions especially an unwelcome one in the picture you see one he is just moving one uh, uh, block or bar automatically the next ones are going to fall so one activity leads to the other activity that that you say in the repercussion eighth word is x chakar e x c h e q u e r x chakar it's a noun it means that agency uh, if you look into the broader meaning the government or a department that receives the and gives out a public money in the uk this is this word actually started from the uk and in any other country you say it is a exchequer means the organization which is responsible to give the money that you say is a exchequer ninth word galvanized it's a adjective general usage is a stimulate you see here you says galvanized metal is covered with the thin layer of zinc so whenever the steel is prepared uh, that is immersed into the uh, molten uh, zinc so that the stainless steel won't go for rusting rusting would happen because of the uh, galvanization so other way it, you can say it is a galvanizer is nothing but a stimulant you see the picture the one which is in the white color it's a galvanized so that it will resist for a long time the other one is is a rusted so galvanize is a word you can use to motivate this something that is what is a galvanizing tenth word is dithering d i t h e 
R I N G, dithering. It's a verb. It's a dilemma. Many days you call it a dilemma. To be unable and choose one one you want. Example: Stop dithering and choose one you want. You see this figure, birds. You see they are thinking too much, right? And they are they they are not taking any decision. So that's what you say, dithering. Eleventh word is ostensibly. O s t e n s i b l y. It's an adjective meaning seeming. Let us see more clearly. Stated or appearing to be a true, but not necessarily. It looks like you know. First look, it looks like that it is true. Maybe true, but you know. that's not that cannot they that may not be true that you say ostensibly a respective figure you can see here yeah, this is one album by album uh, where you say the the uh, singer is singing but if you are uh, if you see first time you see that uh, you think that there is a, a mic in his uh, hand but you know but actually you see uh, one man is very close to his mouth looks like a, a mic that is what you say ostensibly 12th word 12th word sauvenir it's a noun s o s o v v e i g n sauvenir so noun supreme ruler you know the one we have a power to act on his territory that is what you say sauvenir ruler queen prime minister you know those are say a sauv in modern democracies the people will will is the theory of sauvenir 13th word it's a consternation it's a noun or a feeling it's a feeling of anxiety to our consternation or car to our consternation our car could not start feeling anxiety generally whenever you are doing something new you will have a tension that tension you say consternation or if something wrong happened to you or something accident happened to you you will be anxiety that's what that uh, that you, and you are getting out of that is a called as consternation it's a feeling of anxiety again i'm telling you to her consternation to her consternation her car could not start and the 14th word it's a scuffled you see i've striked two times because since i'm not focus since i have not seen that word properly i wrote two times wrongly then i have to strike and i wrote third time because the thing is you have to be very focused scup scuppered you see meaning meaning as well as spelling s c u p p e r e d scuppered it mean that to sink you own ship or purposefully uh, especially the one we don't want to see successful that you say scuppered here in the relevant picture in the 14th one the boat or ship is sinking so that it cannot have a successful journey right so you can also see guilty clauses could have been could have scuppered in the first nda budget itself we are talking about the retrospective taxes or reorganizational taxes this is uh, this was actually criticized by the bjp when it was in the power but when it came to power they want to do they want to collect the uh, tax on reorganization of the company right so that word is you say scuppered and the 15th word is a bob it's a noun means it's a spike you see the word the, the respect to uh, figure bob means a sharp edge of the angle so you say bob it's a, it can be it will pierce you or it will may it will may injure you that sharpness you call as a bar so in relevant relevant to the uh, article that 
Congress and other parties have uh, said the BJP government has suit boot Sarkari. So to 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 go out of that, the government have could have uh, to move out of this kind of uh, uh, name. They have retracted the some land re, land re, uh, land uh, amendments. And sixteenth one is dampened. D a m p e n e d. Dampened. It's a verb. Meaning makes slightly wet, or you can use this one uh, saying that make less strong or intense. You see the word, respective word. The man is going in the rain, you know, walking in the rain with the uh, with the umbrella, but still there is a there are chances to get wet. Uh, that's light wet. Even he is carrying uh, umbrella. So that you say dampened. Example. Nothing could have been could have dampened our enthusiasm. You say that demotivation. In in other way, you can say demotivating. Dampen means demotivation. Seven seventeenth word. It's a catharitic. Catharitic. C a t h a r t a c. It's an adjective. Involving the release of strong emotions through the particular activity or experience. So you see this uh, picture in the seventeenth picture where the lady is uh, trying to do boxing. You know where she placed the uh, her ex-husband so that that's how she is getting relaxed. That word you say catharistic, catharitic. And eighteenth word is strapped. It's an adjective. If you see uh, spelling, S T R A P P E D, strapped. It's an adjective, meaning not having money. You see, he says, "I do love to come to Hawaii with you, but I, I, but I have little strap. I little strap means strapped means." Uh, you are uh, your hands are not free with the if you don't have money you can't spend right so that it indirectly your uh, your hands are strapped the same meaning you can see in the uh, in the figure also 19th one and the last one but it is not it is a you say outset it's a noun a meaning beginning the project was The project was flowered from the outset. He said that's how outset in the sense of beginning. You know, always you say whenever there is a some kind of meeting outset, I would like to thank the organizers and you know so on. You say it's a beginning. These are the different words which are used in the today's editorial. And uh, if you are told. If you learn these words, and you will get most of the theme and essence of this today article. And coming to the um, coming to final conclusion that retro retrospective taxes are not yielding any uh, money to the government. Instead, that process is uh, making us making the government to pay heavy. Uh, Every every money to the respective companies, almost 1.4 billion US dollars. We need the government has to pay almost 80 crores to the hood of one. So one should be diligent enough to see that what is going to yield, what is not going to yield. Even after uh, you have a law, so there is a someone we can see and uh, tell that. What is right and what is wrong from you know in any point of view. So this is all from my side. If at all you like the way uh, things are going in my video, and at all if you like my presentation or if you like anything in this video, just leave a comment or you can subscribe. If at all you don't want to miss the you know learning habit every day.
Thank you all for your attention and see you again tomorrow.